Welcome to the final phase of the Demaic methodology. This is the C, or control phase. This phase focuses on sustaining the improvements made in the previous Demaic phases we've discussed in the series. Now, let's see how we can control process improvements. The best way to control any process is through a control plan. It's the main tool we use in this phase. Control plans establish expectations and procedures on how improvements will be monitored and maintained. They help to reduce variation in the process and ensure consistent quality is delivered to the customer. For a better understanding of control plans, let's go back to our example of a BLT order process from the previous DMAIC videos. Remember, we made an improvement to the BLT lunch order process by creating a standard order form that serving staff uses to jot down customers' orders. This was done to help ensure that the orders were taken down accurately and to prevent delays in serving the customer. There are many formats and templates for a control plan, but all of them are able to answer the following questions. What is being monitored? And who will handle the monitoring? How will an error or defect be detected? How often is the activity being measured? When is action required? What action will be taken if expected results are out of target range? And who is responsible for taking action when measures do not meet targets? Going back to our BLT lunch order, the control plan answers all of these questions and documents how we will maintain the improvements. The starting point in developing a control plan is determining what metrics need to be monitored and controlled. Measurements typically come from data gathered during the analyze phase. Many times, tools like a Pareto chart are useful for identifying key metrics, especially ones that help you control your process. Once you decide what needs to be monitored and controlled, you're ready for the next steps. They include creating a standard procedure for how the activity will be measured, with what frequency, and by whom. Goals are established for the measurements by using targets or target ranges. These numbers come from customer satisfaction or process data, and they help you know when the process is potentially going out of control. Finally, be sure to document a response plan that outlines steps to take if the measurement is falling out of range. With these elements, you have what you need to complete your control plan. The true test of a successful improvement project will lie in the sustainability of the improvement. All of the activities and steps outlined in the DMAIC methodology are there to get you to an improved process. But the real benefit is making sure you avoid having the changes undone and the process reverting back to its original state. Also, keep in mind that part of the sustainability of process improvements relies on the continual enhancements that should be quick and easy to make over time. This can only be achieved if focus is given to each step of the DMAIC process. Remember, the Process Excellence team is available to answer any questions you may have about the DMAIC methodology or any improvement techniques. We hope you found this series on the DMAIC methodology helpful and that it gives you an idea of how you can use the lean tools to improve processes in your area at TECO. Thanks for watching.